Oh hi. For bike the first in area. 1,667,441 came. If not to consider the territory Nunavut. And the second in population. 7.8 million people. The province of Canada. The administrative center, the city of Quebec, the largest city, Montreal. Quebec is located in the east of the country, between the province of Ontario and the Atlantic provinces, in the south borders on the USA. St. Laurentis River, the main waterway of the province, follows from the Great Lakes and flows into the Atlantic Ocean. Official language, French which is to the family for more than 80% of the population. The history of Quebec began with an expedition of Jacques Cartier who is called the father of New France. In 1763 Quebec passed under control of Great Britain, subsequently having become a part of the Canadian Confederation. The Catholic Church played a significant role in spiritual and social life of society up to the 1968 years which were marked by quiet revolution as a result of which lay a cessation of Quebec society was carried out and there were changes in economic, social and political life of the province. The political status of Quebec is defined in the Constitution of Canada. The province has powers to adopt laws in many areas, including property and civil law, administration of justice, and health sector and educations. Periodically in Quebec a debate about the status of the province breaks out. Separatists insist on separation of Quebec while supporters of federalism insist on maintaining the status quo. Various projects of the constitutional reforms are independence including referenda of 1980 and 1995, didn't lead to separation from Canada, but allowed the province to achieve considerable autonomy in the solution of both internal and some external. Immigration. Questions. Unlike other Canada, the legal system of Quebec has the mixed origin. The private law goes back to the civil Romano-German law, and public law, to the Anglo-Saxon right. The space industry, biotechnologies, pharmaceutical industry, metallurgy, information technologies and the industry of culture are some of key sectors of economy of Quebec. Existence of natural resources, including wood and hydraulic power, are also an important factor of creation of material benefits. The name Quebec comes from language of Algonquin, this word was used by Algonquina, Cry and Mikmakam. The word designated, the place where the river is narrowed, and served as designation of the place near the modern city of Quebec where a rather narrow bed of the river of St. Laverenti passes into sharply extending muff. In 1632 Samuel D. Champlain so described this place. The gulf in the river, as well as was described by Indians. Quebec, the biggest province of Canada, represents the extensive territory, mostly very little populated. More than 90% of a surface of Quebec are a part of the Canadian Shield. During an era of the French colonization and New France, the territory of Quebec represented an earth strip within several tens of kilometers on both sides from St. Laurentis River, where the first colonists cleared away and processed grounds. Quebec shares overland border with four states in the northeast of the USA the state of Maine, New Hampshire, New York, and Vermont and three Canadian provinces, New Brunswick, Ontario and Newfoundland and Labrador. 
there is a border dispute because of ownership of Labrador. Borders of Labrador officially don't admit Quebec. By sea Quebec borders also on the territory Nunavut, Prince Edward Island and Nova Scotia. In 1912 the region of Ngava Bay of the Northwest Territories was included in structure of Quebec by the Canadian Parliament. This extensive northern region is included today by Nunavik to the north from the 55th parallel in the region of the Gulf Giansa with his hydroelectric potential which made possible construction of the hydroelectric Lagrand complex. Quebec possesses one of the largest reserves of fresh water in the world which resources occupy 12% of its space. Quebec 3% of all world renewable reserves of fresh water have while his population makes only 0.1% of universal. In Quebec more than half a million lakes, including 30 with an area more than 250 square kilometers and 4500 rivers flowing into the Atlantic Ocean to St. Lawrence's Gulf and also the Arctic Ocean, James Bay, Hudson Bay and Ngava Bay. Street Lawrence's River and her mouths makes a basis of development of Quebec throughout centuries. St. Laurenti's River, one of the largest in North America. She follows from Lake Ontario and comes to an end extensive estuary, passing into the Gulf of St. Lawrence and the Atlantic Ocean. It is one of the biggest navigable ways in the world. Length of 1200 km and the main river axis of the North American continent. St. Laurenti's Valley is a fertile region where the meat and milk livestock production, cultivation of grain and vegetable crops and also the culture of a sugar maple dominates. The largest internal reservoir is Kniepisko's reservoir created within the project for production of the hydroelectric power in James Bay. The Lake Mistassini is the largest natural lake in Quebec. Quebec consists of very various landscapes. It is subdivided into three big geological regions. The Laurentian Highlands occupy about 95% of the territory of Quebec and are a part of the Canadian Shield. The Laurentian Highlands are put by breeds of Archean and Proterozoic Age. Her southern border is made Laurentida, the mountain chain consisting of low, roundish hills, the woods and numerous lakes. The valley of the river of St. Laurenti, the lowland formed by coast of the river of the same name, in the south, the Appalachians, the mountain chain with roundish woody tops alternating the cultivated plains tower. The southern slope of the Appalachians borders on the USA. The Arctic lowlands surround Hudson Bay. Far north of Quebec is limited to the subarctic region Nunavik, the territory of Eskimos. The territory of Quebec is extraordinarily rich with natural resources with her coniferous and deciduous forests and numerous lakes and the rivers. The woodworking, paper industry and hydropower are the most important industries in the province. The most densely populated region is the south of the valley of the river of St. Laurenti, where the capital of Quebec and the biggest city of Montreal are located. To the north from Montreal there are Laurentida, the oldest mountain chain in the world, and on the east Appalachians which extend to east cantons of Quebec. The Gaspé Peninsula leads to the Gulf of St. Lawrence. In Quebec four seasons are distinguishable. Winter, spring, summer and fall. Duration of sunny day is eight hours in December when it is shortest. Duration of sunny day changes with width. On far north the polar lights and polar day are observed. 
Quebec is divided into four climatic zones. Arctic, subarctic, continental and sea in the east of the province. From the south on the north, average temperature fluctuates in the summer from plus 20 C and plus 5 C, and in the winter from 10 C and 2 25 C. During heat waves and cold weather temperature can reach a point of 35 C in the summer and 40 C in the winter in Quebec. The record of winter rainfall was set in the winter of 2007-2008 when the level of rainfall reached more than 5 meters of snow in the province of Quebec, and the average value received in winter time makes 3 meters. Besides, the winter of 2010 was the warmest and dry of ever registered more than in 60 years. Snow cover is present of 4 months. In the south at Montreal, up to six months in the north in Radisson. The quantity of the snow which is dropping out during this period in Quebec or in Montreal is more than in such northern cities as Helsinki or Oslo. Temperature goes down generally under the influence of norths. The cities of the Gaspi Peninsula feel the softening influence of the ocean due in winter of softer and summer to more cool. The land fauna is quite numerous. Large animals are presented by musky bulls, deer, sea eagles, bellicostomi, elks, black bears, polar bears. Average animals are presented by pumas, coyotes, red lynxes, polar foxes, foxes, etc. From smaller animals, beavers, hares, groundhogs, skunks, raccoons, chipmunks, etc. Meat. The fauna in the mouth of the river and in Street Lawrence Gulf consists of water mammals, the majority of whom rises on an estuary of the river of Street Lawrence to the island Orleans, including a blue whale, a beluga, seals. Occurs among northern marine animals I doubt. The fauna of internal waters consists of fishes, such as pike perch, black American sturgeon, the Atlantic COD, the Arctic loach, trout, salmon, etc. Birds of prey are presented by golden eagles, satsons, owls and bald eagles. From water birds the Canadian brent, a crested cormorant, a northern Aleutia, a silvery seagull, a big blue heron, a polar gagara, etc. Meat The Fund of the Wild Nature of Quebec and Data Processing Centre of Natural Heritage of the Province of Quebec. Tiepen. They're the main institutions working with security guards of the wild nature in Quebec. On the edge of Ngava Bay and Hudson Bay, the flora characteristic of the tundra in particular lichens is widespread. Further on the south, the climate promotes growth of a taiga. The area of the woods in Quebec is estimated at 750,300 km. An Abitibi Temiscam in Jantcot North the wood consists generally of coniferous breeds, such as fir tree and pine. Further on the south, yellow birches and other deciduous breeds are gradually added. The valley of the river of Street Lawrence consists of the woods of coniferous breeds, such as Thuyu Western. Cedar. And deciduous trees, such as sugar maple, red maple, elm, linden. The birch, poplar balsam, a poplar cover more than a half of the territory of Quebec. The first people appeared in the territory of Quebec at the end of the last ice age about 10, 11,000 years ago. These tribes came to America from Asia when still there was an isthmus on the place of the present Bering Strait. 
as a result of colonization in the territory of Quebec, three big ethno-linguistic communities appeared. Mohawks, Algonquina and Aloyt and Wits from whom 11 Indian people were allocated. Abenaki, Algonquina, Atacameki, Krai, Garona, Malasita, Mi'kma'ki, Mogavka, Montagne, Naskap and Inwits. According to modern historians, the first contact of Indians and European researchers happened in the 10th century. Vikings met Indians of North America on the islands of Newfoundland and also in Greenland and the Labrador. Even before discovery of America Basques, Bretons and Normans fished at coast of North America and sometimes came into St. Laurentis River. However, only after falling of Constantinople in 1453 there was a need for a search of a new trade way to India which would facilitate trade with the countries of the Far East. The French King Francis I made an attempt to find a new way to India and sent the seafarer Giovanni Verrazzano in 1524 to investigate the new world. Verrazzano, having floated from coast of Florida to Newfoundland, I couldn't find a way to India. Despite failure, Verrazzano's swimming it was useful in terms of a research of America. Thus, he was the first French researcher of America and he introduced the term New France into circulation. Left St. Malo on April 20, 1534 with 61 persons by two ships, Jacques Cartier is considered the first European researcher of the territory of Canada. Though it is possible that in 1497, Jean Cabot already visited the mouth of the river of St. Laurenti. Cartier erected a cross on the Gaspi Peninsula in 1534 and following 1535 floated down the river St. Laurenti. Jacques Cartier reached the mountain Hochelaga, near future Montreal, where his team wintered. Twenty people died of a scurvy until Cartier received from Mohawks the recipe of medicine on the basis of leaves of a 2U Western. Minds this disease. Having resolved to found colony, France charged command of a new expedition to Jean-Francois de Roberville. The new colony were a difficult winter which cost life more than 50 people. Having more important interests. The war in Europe. France ceased to be interested in Canada more than on half century. It is accepted to call this period the period of vain attempts. In 1603 the French colonists under Samuel D. Champlain's leadership entered into alliance with Indians of tribes of Curran and Algonquin against Mohawks. At this time there were about 30000 Guran and 15000 Mohawks, but a series of epidemics reduced the number of Guran to 12000 whereas the number of Mohawks didn't suffer. In 1608 the father of New France Samuel D. Champlain founded the city of Quebec which was then the simple transit point. In 1627 creation by the Cardinal Richelieu Company of New France. Company of 100 shareholders. Allowed 100 shareholders to develop Canada. Next year the first expedition totaling 400 people fell into hands of British and didn't reach the destination. Owing to capitulation of Quebec to Brothers Kirk. British occupied Quebec and Nova Scotia from 1629 to 1632. Samuel D. Champlain was taken prisoner, and the company of 100 shareholders was ruined. As a result of the contract and seeing Germain and La France returned its self colony in 1632. The city of Trois Rivières was founded in 1634. 
In 1640 New France totaled only 500 people. Wars with Mohawks and diseases were the leading causes of death in the French colony. In 1642 Paul Comet de Mazogne founded the city of Villemarie, future Montreal, which was at the time the fort protecting from the attacks of Mohawks. The first big Irakeski war lasted from 1642 to 1667. From 1627 to 1663 the population grew from 100 to 2500 inhabitants. In 35 years there arrived about 1250 French immigrants, and the others were born already on the place. Some French provinces made a bigger contribution than others. It is in particular, Normandy, Aunes, Perche, Paris with vicinities. Isle de France. Poitou, Maine, saint Anne's, Anjou and Brittany, that is, generally the western regions of France which are on the Atlantic coast, seaports and Paris. The southern regions of France and the French Alps almost didn't participate in settling of Canada. In 1663 the French Minister of Finance Colbert founded Royal Management of New France. The territory had to cope as the French province under the auspices of the governor. In 1665 the regiment Carignana Saliera, elite division, arrived to colony with the purpose to pacify Mohawks. In 1666 the quartermaster of New France Jean Talon organized the first population census which counted 3215 inhabitants. Thanks to policy of promotion of birth rate of Talon and also sending 900 marriageable girls by the King Louis XIV. The well-known royal brides. The population of colony reached 6,700 inhabitants in 1672. In 1684 the Mohawks encouraged by British organized a new series of attacks against the French settlements. In 1686 the French seized three English forts in Hudson Bay. Under control of Frontenac they conducted a series of raids against outposts of New England and expelled British from Nova Scotia, from Newfoundland and Hudson Bay. However, in 1687, France and England signed the Rysvicki Contract, which put an end to the first war between colonies. In 1701, the peace with Mohawks was made. The colony totaled less than inhabitants. With signing of the Utrecht World of 1713, France I ceded to Great Britain, Nova Scotia, Newfoundland, and Hudson Bay. The trade in bellows representing 70% of export against only 20% falling to the share of products of agriculture remained the dominating type of economic activity of colony. Seven Years' War 1756-1763 was a decisive event in the fate of North American colonies. The British colonies united to finish New France. In 1756 the governor Moncom arrived in New France from 1300 people. In 1759 the British general James Wolfe and his army besieged ten weeks the city of Quebec which surrendered after the well-known fight on Abraham's Plains during which Moncom and Wolfe both were mortally wounded. Next year. 1760. British captured Montreal. New France was conquered. The biggest French colony totaled then about 55000 inhabitants. As for the American Indians, then there were about card people.
Great Britain received in possession New France according to the Parisian Contract of 1763 which ended Seven Years' War. Among disasters of war there was a ruin of considerable territories of Quebec. Quebec caught du side, bas du flyove. And also, and especially, the drama of great resettlement. A large number of residents of Nova Scotia ran from this deportation which forever divided families and caused big mortality at resettlement to Quebec. At the moment about one million Quebecers have the new Scottish origin. Under the Parisian contract France saved the person in Europe, but lost the first colonial empire in India and America. The King Louis XV and his advisers tried to be consoled, having kept Guadeloupe and Sugar Islands, an underestimating loss of Canada which was considered then as expensive colony, the huge ice desert which isn't of a particular interest to France. Only Island Saint-Pierre and Miquelin remained French to allow the French to catch fish at the coast of North America. However, France wasn't slow to revenge Great Britain, having supported the USA in the War of Independence. Owing to the Parisian contract, most of aristocrats returned to France. Great Britain made the Constitution. The Royal Leaflet for New France renamed into Province of Quebec. Not to confuse with the modern Canadian Province of Quebec. This constitution assumed gradual assimilation of French Canadians. About 20 hundred from them returned to France between 1760 and 1770. The Canadian Catholics were so deprived of civil rights, as well as Irish. All state positions were held only by natives of Protestant minority. The British military got a large number of estates while functioning of Quebec schools was undermined, in particular, by persecutions on Catholic Church. Till 1766 British fought against tribes of the American Indians, such as Abenaki. Friendly France which rose under leadership of the leader of Pontiac. To avoid transfer of disorders on other territory of Canada, the British government decided to be more open source software to the attitude towards French Canadians and withdrew the royal leaflet which, among other things, made the only official religion of Protestantism. In 1774 the Quebec Statement which softened the policy of assimilation formulated 11 years earlier and confirmed the rights of the Canadian people, in particular, into French, civil law and Catholic religion was drawn up and also I increased the territory of the province. She included the Great Lakes and the territory was stretched to street. Louis Americans led by Montgomery and Arnold decided to acquaint by force Canadians with the fight for independence. They intruded in Quebec and captured Montreal with vicinities. However, next year they didn't manage to occupy the city of Quebec. There arrived the British reinforcements, and a large number of Americans was forced to leave the province. French Canadians took rather neutral position, following the recommendations of the Catholic Church which took the part of the British. Upon termination of the War of Independence the American Loyalists located in Quebec, and satisfied with the numerous rights of French Canadians, British demanded reforms and received the Constitutional Act of 1791 which divided the territory down the River Ottawa having created the top Canada, the modern province of Ontario, and the lower Canada, modern Quebec. 
the British parliamentarism was accepted, but borders of a colonial system were very quickly criticized and challenged. In 1834 Dix of Patriotic Party Louis Joseph Papino, Alzer Bedard and Augustine Norbert Morin Meet and published 92 resolutions which expressed loss of trust to the British monarchic institutions as the political program. To resist to the monarchic power unfair to French Canadians, Fathers and his party demanded the responsible elected government which would control income and voted for laws of the Lower Canada. In 1835, Lord Gosford arrived in Quebec to try to improve quickly relations with Patriots and to reconcile with Assembly. But in 1837, having exhausted all peaceful strategy and having faced flat refusal of London to consider 92 resolutions, the party of Patriots came to awareness of need of an armed revolt. At the same time some British insurgents from the top Canada made the same demands. The elected government instead of the governor put by London. The Lower Canada took up arms led by Louis Joseph Papineau, the deputy nationalist and the leader of the Party of Patriots. The top Canada rose under William Mackenzie's leadership. Both of these revolts were suppressed by London. The defeat of Patriots noted the end of influence of the liberal intellectuals on Quebec society, and the church became the dominating force again and expanded the influence. The defeat of a revolt in the Lower Canada didn't allow the people to avoid an underdevelopment vice. Access to new lands remained problematic for French Canadians as it was monopolized by British, as well as trade with the colonial mother country. The Massachusetts departure of French Canadians in the USA to which the 19th century was characterized began. The Lord Durham was sent by London for conducting investigation. In the well-known report he claimed that it is necessary to start full assimilation of French Canadians by means of association to Canada and establishment of the responsible government. The Statement of Association of 1840 was drawn up in London. He gave to the top Canada the same number of deputies as Lower, and made English the only official language. The United Canada contained then card English-speaking and card French-speaking. The top Canada. English-speaking and low-populated. Received in assembly the same weight, as French-speaking and densely populated Lower Canada that corresponded to assimilatory aspirations of British. The Lord Durham assumed that English-speaking Canadians soon will become more numerous and will dominate in assembly. Gradually English-speaking accepted the self-name, Canadians, which French-speaking Canadians used since the 17th century. Thereof the last, French Canadians, began to call themselves. Political problems proceeded, having reached new apogee in 1849 when insurgents burned the building of the Parliament of the United Canada sitting at Montreal since 1843. The government adopted the law to restore the rights of French and to indemnify loss to innocent victims of the conflicts 1837-1838 that infuriated the British extremists. The Parliament wandered between Quebec and Toronto up to 1867. Only in 1849 the responsible government of party of reformists came to the power. The party was led Robert Baldwin in the top Canada and Louis Hippolyte Lafontaine in the lower. Thanks to the responsible government, on the Canadian political scene some calm set in. In 1864 representatives of political elite began discussions concerning potential Canadian confederation. 
London supported the project of the federal device and put pressure upon the government and colony. Owing to the agreement concluded between Conservative Party of John Alexander MacDonald and the Liberal Party of George Brown supported by George's Etienne Cartier, the Act of the British North America was signed and on July 1, 1867 the Canadian Confederation which New Brunswick and Nova Scotia joined was created. The new administrative division which created the provinces of Quebec and Ontario was carried up. This act of the British North America, differently the constitutional law of 1867, define fundamental division of powers between the federal government and the governments of provinces. Founders of Canada were full of determination to create the strong central government, leaving, nevertheless, considerable powers behind legislative assemblies of provinces. In particular, John A. MacDonald was forced to refuse projects of the unitary state because of determination. B. Cartier to restore Quebec statehood in a provincial framework. As the national centre where the majority was guaranteed to French Canadians and also domination over the destiny and a guarantee minds assimilation. Marked out to federal parliament responsibility for defence and foreign policy, trade, transport, communication and Indian reservations, also as well as emergency powers, in particular, residual powers. Responsibility for all sectors which weren't specially stipulated behind legislative assemblies of provinces. Disavowal powers. Which to am allowed to disavow laws of provinces. Also as powers of unlimited taxation. Leaving behind provinces only powers to levy direct taxes within the territory of provinces. Legislative assemblies of provinces received powers in such areas as education, hospitals, property, the civil rights, natural resources and works and the enterprises of local character. In two sectors. Immigration and agriculture, powers were divided between two steps of the government. The constitutional law of 1867 contained the provisions which are specially conceived to keep and legalize the special nature of Quebec. He recognized a priority of the civil code of Quebec in the field of private law before the British civil law existing in other provinces provided use of French and English in Parliament, also as in legislature and courts of Quebec and I established the separate schools financed by public funds for Protestant and Catholic minorities of Quebec and Canada. On July 15, 1867, Pierre-Joseph Chauveau from Conservative Party of Quebec became Prime Minister. In 1868, he created the Ministry of Public Education and became his boss. But this ministry came to be soon under fire of criticism from church which rejected, thus, neutral, free and compulsory education which she considered Masonic threat. Boucherville abolished the ministry in 1875 and renewed the system of 1867. In 1876 the Liberal candidate of Charlevoix which lost on elections because of pressure of church upon voters managed with the help of the new federal law to achieve non-recognition of results of elections. Next year the Pope sent a representative to convince Quebec Church to reduce the intervention in policy. As for influence of church in society, here the characteristic fact. In 1887, 48% of teachers of schools for Catholics had a holy order.
after a political failure of reforms of the Republican honor Mercier in the spirit of economic nationalism and public education, his son-in-law and to the Prime Minister of Lombuin undertook a series of more modest reforms to design to solve a problem of an underdevelopment of the Franco-Ganesi region. Quite so he began the basis of a series of vocational schools under the auspices of the authorities of the province. In 1910, the grandson Louis Joseph Papino of Henry Barras based the Le Devoir newspaper, Debt, which he devoted to protection of French Canadians. He resolutely protested against participation of Canada in Anglo Boer War in 1899 and against an appeal of 1917, which forced Canada to be involved in World War I. From car Canadian soldiers sent across the ocean more than 6000 died in the battlefield. The political fate of nationalists from Buis's generation ended with the all-Canadian elections of 1911 which in spite of the fact that dismissed Laurie and led many deputies to the Parliament of Canada are considered as their defeat as the only alternative was conservative, imperialistic and even more anti-French government of Robert Borden, famous Francophobe and Protestant. However, this generation can write down to itself in an asset some progress. Armand Laverne managed to achieve adoption of law on protection of French in public life, having obliged, in particular, the companies to use both languages. At this time, the railroad, phone, etc., didn't recognize the language predominating in Quebec. Nationalists also achieved from Green's government of the law obliging to process on the place wood and paper stock from Quebec that allowed to develop to such industrial centers as Chevinigan, in hope that Quebec will export to the USA the products, but not cheap labor. The historian and the canon Lionel Prue whom many consider the confessor of Quebec separatism became Burris's follower as defenders of the rights of French Canadians. He, however, isn't at all a father of this movement which goes back to patriots. The Declaration of Independence 1838 and was adopted by the National Party of Honor Mercier at the power in 1886-1893. Political views of crew were close to political activity of La Fontaine and Tardival's Ultramontanstwa whose novel, For the Homeland, 1895 predicted independence of Quebec in 1950. In 1931, having deserved recognized international authority participation in World War I and the negotiations which followed it, Canada received full autonomy from the United Kingdom under the Westminster Statute. Formation of the Commonwealth In 1936, the 40 year government of liberals ended with series of corruption scandals and split in party. The National Union, founded in 1935 as a result of merge of conservatives to the irreconcilable wing which broke away from party of liberals, came to the power in Quebec. Its head Maurice Duplessis was at the power till 1939, and then from 1944 to 1959 again. Duplessis delayed development of Quebec in comparison with other Canada in the fields of education, economies and social protection. The Church reached a dominant position in the social, economic and political sphere. In close cooperation with the government she used the authority to convince electorate of need to keep the conservative government of Duplessis which took measures against social reforms and the trade union movement. After his death influence of church quickly weakened at the liberal government of Jean Lesage. In the 60s Quebec was included into a phase of the accelerated modernization, 
thanking in particular, series of the reforms of an economic order undertaken by Lesage's government. This period is often called the period of quiet revolution. The term Honor Days of Paul So designates the temporary period when the interim Prime Minister put forward a slogan, further, which designated changes in the policy of the government of Quebec. After sudden death of Paul Sauve, the National Union was headed by Antonio Barrett who put forward the program of limited reforms, but lost elections on June 22, 1960. The Liberal Party of Quebec with the slogan, Time for Changes, received the majority to two seats in Legislative Assembly of Quebec. Jean Lesage's government initiated the extensive program of reforms in social policy, education, health care and economy. All these reforms were soon called Quiet Revolution. This period was noted by nationalization of hydropower and destruction of financial syndicate from St. Jacques Street in Montreal. The government accepted the slogan, Govern Together With Us, which designated the Quebecers take the power in the province in hand whereas earlier the majority of the leading posts was held by English Quebecers. The scope of this movement caused confrontation between the temporal and spiritual powers that caused lay cessation of the state and public life. Also, Quebecers showed deep concern and dissatisfaction with the culturation of Francophone minority in Canada and the provision of French. For the first time, Quebecers expressed loud discontent, a situation developed in 1867. In 1963, members of the Commission of Lorendo Danton noted that, contrary to opinion of most of English Canadians, the French culture of Quebec doesn't submit to more Anglo-American culture and that it passed a survival stage and now really lives and develops. Also, they noted that the French culture doesn't occupy a fitting place in life of Canada. The movement began to be formed in 1957 from Laurentiski Alliance. In 1960, Association for National Independence appeared. Various groups had an impact on this movement, especially the Front of Liberation of Quebec and the Parti Québécois. In Quebec there was fierce debate about separation from Canada. In 1967 Charles de Gaulle actually supported the idea of independence of Quebec, having proclaimed, Long live free Quebec. During the October crisis of 1970 the federal government imposed martial law. Supporters of independence under the leadership of René Lévesque won elections of 1976 and achieved holding a referendum with a question of independence of Quebec in 1980 which was unsuccessful for supporters of office. 40.5% for 59.5% minds. Quebec refused to recognize the Constitution of Canada of 1982 that led to crisis. Jacques Parizeau's government held the second referendum on independence of Quebec in 1995, but 50.6% voting spoke against secession. In 1998 the Supreme Court of Canada accepted the document regulating an exit of Quebec from the Canadian Confederation. After scandal with illegal financing the movement for independence achieved some progress, results of a referendum of 1995 were challenged. The legal system of Canada is mixed. The most part of the territory can be carried to Anglo-Saxon legal family. To the system of common law. However, the legal system of the province of Quebec in the civil sphere belongs to the Romano-German family. By Euralism. In 1998, the 
in spite of the fact that comments on laws of England are the main theoretical base used for understanding of norms of common law, the civil code of Quebec often refers to traditions of the Romano-German legal system. National laws and justice, thus, are based only on the theory of the natural right. From the historical point of view, in common law it is about the equal rights of people and communities of the low people. And the national right, in which each individual itself manages the affairs, freedom of choice, and which change according to common law, the existing social customs and practice refer to authority of a crown and the English nobility, with case law that replaces regulations. The constitutional law says that the legal principles applied in Quebec according to traditions of the German people with the principle of competitiveness and royal decrees of England and Canada. On the other hand, the cultural heritage of the French board in the Quebec legislation is shown in connection with prevalence of social traditions and folk customs, from the Parisian custom to precepts of law of the Civil Code of France. In legal philosophy of the public law applied in Quebec, a fundamental role in all public authorities, for example, National Assembly, the government, etc., consultation with citizens plays as well as in public law coexistence of common law and civil Romano-German the rights are supported by a bi-euralism in the field of private law in private law Quebec has the constitutional privilege which provides a all completeness of the power in lawmaking the Civil Code of Quebec is principles of all laws in the field of private law. Thus, the system of abiuralism seeks to protect on the one hand the rights of natural persons, and on the other hand, an equal relationship on transfer of property through use of all laws in a legal system. Management of a justice system and law enforcement in the province of Quebec is carried out by the Ministry of Justice of the province of Quebec. The last is responsible, in particular, for availability of justice to the population and for maintenance of judicial districts. The Attorney General of the province of Quebec is the representative of the state and is responsible for a representative office. Protection of interests of the state and court. The Ministry of Public Safety of the Province of Quebec manages functions of civil safety and correctional facilities. In the field of private law of sheriffs. On one on the judicial district. Bear responsibility for performance of resolutions of court, monitoring process. When performing the tasks they can attract substitutes, bailiffs. They are also responsible for criminal cases, appointment and control of jurors. Quebec courts are organized by the principle of a pyramid which top is the Court of Appeal of the Province of Quebec. Court of Appeal of the Province of Quebec is the highest authority of this territorial education considers all cases of submissions of complaints to judgments. Besides, it possesses the traditional power of consultation of the government of the province of Quebec, being the body which is carrying out protection of execution of standards of civil law. Romano-German. And by that provides full performance of the legislation in the system of common law. The Supreme Court of the Province of Quebec, in return, has rights of consideration of all lawsuits, except those which are in jurisdiction of exclusively inferior courts of the first instance. The Supreme Court of the Province of Quebec exercises traditional supervision of legality of decisions of the courts of other levels.
the political system of Quebec is based on the Westminster system. Quebec is constitutional monarchy with a liberal and democratic political system. The nominal head of the province is the lieutenant governor of Quebec who is the representative of the governor general and the queen of Canada. The lieutenant governor performs generally ceremonial and constitutional functions, he personifies continuity and unity of the state. From the moment of abolition of the Legislative Council in 1968, the Parliament of Quebec is unicameral and consists only of the National Assembly which is elected for a period of five years. The Executive Council headed by the Prime Minister is principal organ of executive power. According to traditions, the party which received the majority of seats in Legislative Assembly forms the government, and the party leader becomes Prime Minister. Political life of the province is defined generally by opposition of the left and right ideologies and also a question of independence of Quebec. Now the following parties have representation in Parliament of Quebec. Liberal Party of Quebec, Parti Québécois and Solidary Quebec. The Quebec state is responsible for management and targeting of public order within the powers according to the theory of the natural right. Quebec has monopoly in these areas, also has a lot of the inalienable historical rights affirmed in the Constitutional Act of 1867 which, besides, guaranteed a sovereignty concession against the centre of the province. Council of Treasury supports Executive Council performed by government function. Also it manages the Ministry of Internal Affairs, all bodies of the government and the Ministry of Foreign Affairs. The economy of Quebec earlier concentrated in hands of syndicate from St. Jacques Street in Montreal has post-industrial character now. The economy in general has market character. The economic liberalism is combined with various levers of economic intervention which take individual freedom of choice into account. Economic prosperity of Quebec is reached due to coordination of all divisions of the government of Quebec in their corresponding jurisdictions, the main thing in this area the Ministry of Economic Development, Innovations and Export Trade, the Ministry of Finance of Quebec and also Revenue Board of Quebec. With the Canadian Census of 2016, it was registered 8,164,361 residents of Quebec living in 3,531,663 households. Increase in number of inhabitants in comparison with a census of 2011 was 3.3%. In 2011, the population contained 7,903,001 persons. At the territory of the province of 1,356,625.27 came. Population density makes 6.02 people slash came. The population of the province is distributed very not evenly. About 80% of the population live in the south of the province in the valley of the river of St. Laurenti. Moreover, in 2016, 1,942,044 people lived only on 499.12 came. The islands Montreal. Density of 3890 people on came. Contrary to it, in northern regions of Quebec, the north of Quebec and Cotholes lived only at the same time to the share of these regions of which 73% of the territory fall. 994,847.26 came. Density minus 0.14 people slash came.
the total coefficient of birth rate. T ever. In Quebec makes 1. 59 and it is higher than average value across Canada minus 1.54. However, even such value of acre is much lower than the level of reproduction of the population which is 2.1. Such situation contrasts from acre to the 1968 years when Quebec had the highest value of coefficient of birth rate among all industrially developed countries. Though the population of Quebec makes only 22% of the population of Canada, the number of foreign adoptions in Quebec is the highest among all provinces of Canada. In 2001, 42% foreign adoptions in Canada were made by parents from Quebec. In 2012, the population of the province exceeded a mark of 8 million people, then was predicted that the following level in 9 million will be exceeded to 2056. However, judging by the subsequent censuses, this value will be exceeded much earlier. The expected life expectancy in Quebec reached value of 80.8 .8 years for men and 84.5 for women. The share was calculated proceeding from the number of the respondents who answered a question of the ethnic origin. 7,965,455 Visible minorities make 12.6% of the population. This share is lower than in the following provinces, British Columbia, Ontario, Alberta, and Manitoba. Most of visually noticeable minorities lives in Montreal and its agglomeration. Till 1968 years, immigrants arrived generally from the European countries, including Italians, Jews from Central Europe and Greeks. With 1960-1970, immigration became more diversified. Modern immigrants come generally from France, China, Belgium, Eastern Europe and a number of developing countries, especially French-speaking countries of North Africa, but also from the countries of Latin America. Religion Quebec is the unique province in Canada thanks to belonging of the vast majority of the population to the Roman Catholic Church. It is a consequence of colonial times when only two Rima Catholic was permitted to lodge in New France. The National Research of Households in 2011 showed that 6,356,880 Residents of the province are Christians. At the same time, there was a decrease in each share in comparison with data of a census 2001 when 90.3% of inhabitants specified Christianity as the professed religion. Among Christians, 5,766,750. 74.6%. Carry themselves to Rimsko of Catholic Church in 2001. The share of Catholics was 83.2%. The share of Orthodox Christians grew from 1.4% in 2001 to 1.7%. 129,780. In 2011 a little. From them 52345. 0.7%. Our parishioners of the Greek Church carry themselves to Russian Orthodox Church 3410, 0.04%. Quebecers treat the other directions of Christianity 460,350 more, 6.0%. Residents of the province. The Muslim community is the most fast-growing if in 2001 only 1.5% called themselves adherents of Islam, then in 2011 already 3.1%. 243,430 specified themselves by Muslims. 
it is connected with considerable migration from traditionally French-speaking countries of North Africa and the Middle East. The share of Jews decreases from 1.3% in 2001 to 1.1%. 1 .1 85105 In 2011 The share of adherents of the Buddhism is at the stable level of 0.7%. Also as well as Hindus minus 0.4%. 33540. And Sikhs minus 9275. 0.1%. This results from the fact that immigrants from East Asia prefer other provinces of Canada as the place of immigration. Considerably the share of those someone declared lack of belonging to any religion grew if in 2001 such there were 5.8%, then in 2011, 12.1%. In many respects growth of atheists happened due to decrease in a share of Catholics. The share of adherents of the Sardic religion paid off as a proportion to the total number of the respondents who answered a question of religion. 7,732,520 In the linguistic plan, Quebec differs from the direct neighbors generally in the fact that French is the only official language. Quebec French is language of the majority and official language in Quebec. The Quebec Office of French works according to implementation of language policy of the Supreme Council on French and Council for Place Names of Quebec. According to a census of 2016 of 6,219,665 inhabitants, 77.1% of the population specified French as the native language. The people who said that they speak French of the house was 6,375,665. 82.1%. It is curious that knowledge of French is widespread even among those other languages specified as the native language. In 2016, about 94.5% of the population said that they are capable to speak French, separately or in a combination with other languages. In Canada there are from 32 to 36 regional dialects of French, only in Quebec are 14 of them. All of them come from a uniform dialect of French on which talked in New France, their emergence became possible thanks to long isolation between native speakers of French. There are 10 continental dialects. These are dialects in regions to Gaspe, saint Laurentis Lower Reach, Saguenay, the Lake Sangrang, Quebec Charlevoix, Bas, East Cantons, Maurice, Big Montreal, East Monroe of Allroom Norinzant. Also there are four island dialects, one on Ilocudder and three on the islands of Madeline. Anglophones make the second most important linguistic group in Quebec. English is the native language for 7.5% of the population, 601,155. Also 782,185, 10%, said that use house English. In comparison with 2011, the number of native speakers of English remained almost at the same level, at the same time in percentage terms the number of English-speaking Quebecers in the population of the province slightly decreased. English-speaking Quebecers have the right to services in English in the field of legal services, health care and education. Services in English are provided in those municipalities where more than a half of inhabitants specified English as the native language. Despite reduction of number of Anglophones, 71% of English Quebecers consider themselves bilingual, 
that is they have sufficient level of proficiency in French to carry on a conversation. Considerable part of residents of Quebec considers itself bilingual. In Quebec about 3,586,410. 44.5% Residents of the province said that they know both official languages. It is the highest level of bilingualism in Canada. The federal constituency Lat St. Louis located in a bilingualism belt is the most bilingual territory of the province. According to a census of 2011 of 72.8% of residents of the district said that they can communicate in both official languages. Contrary to it, in other territory of Canada in 2016, only 9.8% of the population, 2,629,655, are able to talk in both official languages. This 58% of all Canadian billing live in the territory of Quebec. In 2016, people for whom the native language is any not state language made 13.5%, 1,060,830. Their share increased in comparison with 2011 when Anglophones made 12.3% of the population. Languages which were specified as the native language most often on a census of 2016. Russian is the most fast-growing among all European languages. His share increased from zero. 26%. In 2011 to 0.35%. In 2016. In the long term Russian can become the seventh in prevalence in Quebec. The majority Russian-speaking Quebec lives in Montreal. English isn't official language according to the Quebec right. However, both languages and English and French are obligatory in use at adoption of laws according to the Constitutional Act of 1867. Any person can use both French and English languages in the National Assembly of Quebec and in court. The paper materials published by the National Assembly of Quebec. Holidays. New Year. Easter. Easter Monday. National Day of the Patriot or Holiday de l'Arde or Day of Victoria. Monday, previous on May 25. National Day of Quebec. Day of Jean Batista on June 24 Day of Canada Day of Confederation on July which is often designated by Day of Moving the Grand Jour de Déménagement Labor Day First Monday of September. Thanksgiving Day. Second Monday of October. Informal holidays and memorable days. Street. Valentine's Day. On February 14. International Women's Day. On March Street Patrick's Day On March 17 All Saints Day On October 31 Day of Remembrance On November 11 Additional Facts 
in 1988 for 12 hours on all province electricity because of flash in the sun was switched off. All so far. Write comments. Read comments. Interesting people will tell interesting stories. All of good mood and good luck.